right? We the Hebrew Israelites. We come out week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this sinful kingdom, Babylon, America, the sinful kingdom, according to the scriptures. We come up, we come out to wake up the elect of our people, the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, and you so-called Native Americans. We're coming out to proclaim the downfall of America and the upliftment of the kingdom of heaven. That's right. Which is going to be ruled by the elect, well, by the, the, these, these people here on this sign, the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Now, through the Spirit, you know, Lord willing, we know that we the prophets because the things that was happening to the prophets back then happened to us when we come out trying to tell these people week in and week out that they're going off. And I'm mainly talking about our people now, trying to tell them to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of our power, the Most High, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shah. Trying to tell our people where they're going off. And, 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 and trying to tell our people to basically take their mind out of this society, this society which is, is, is meant for a downfall. That's right. right. You know? Sure destruction. So, but when we come out here, you know, people want to scoff, laugh, if these people could have it their way, they would put us to death. Yeah. Because we know through the Spirit these people want to see harm done to us. But that's through the Spirit how we know we those same prophets that was prophesied in those wicked kingdoms back then. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and get that. If I can say something real quick. I mean, um, what the, the point the brother made was a beautiful point because our people are the main ones coming against us. You know, more so in these other nations. And mainly, our people are the ones who were, who were talking shit, coming by the camp, you know, with their nose turned up at us. And they the same ones who, who put the Lord, who, you know, who said, uh, who, who were telling the Lord, you know, let, let his blood be on us and our children. That's right. And it is. And it is. That's right. That's right. And that just goes to show, like, these false prophets in these churches, in these whorehouses called churches, you're not the true prophets. You're not the true men of the Lord. That's right. You know? Because the, the, in the scriptures, it say, Woe unto you when men shall speak well of you. And all the brothers that's out doing what we're doing start with our elders in New York. And the brothers all through the, out the four corners of the earth doing the same thing we're doing. They're catching hell for this word, man. That's right. But that shows through the spirit that we those same prophets and apostles that was back in those previous kingdoms. Go ahead and get that. It's Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms. That's right. They say the prophets of old prophesy against great kingdoms. And we're, we're standing in total opposition against this place. We're not for this place. Even though we have to go through our menial day-to-day -day routine, whether it be working, whether it be uh, for brothers who got families taking care of their families, you know, whether it be for brothers that got women to deal with, you know, we go through our day to day, but at the end of the day, we're hastening the day that the Most High raises up his people and sends his son back to destroy this place. So we're out here to prophesy against this place. That's right. Against the wickedness, against the turning of things upside down that this place condones. The homosexuality, the going off, you know, we're, we're set here to prophesy against this kingdom. Go ahead. Um, that prophesied uh, uh, both against many countries and against great kings of war and of evil and of pestilence. That's right. So we're here to prophesy about bad times, about war, evil, and pestilence. Because contrary to popular belief, Good times are not coming to America, man. That's right. No matter what your, uh, all these politicians, no matter what your bonehead President Obama tell you, you know, no matter what your stupid BS uh, media news outlets tell you, good times are not coming to this place. Good times are not occurring throughout the earth, the earth as we know it right now. That's right. Even and though things have not uh, manifest themselves full-fledged in America, you got all our hell going on throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. You got all these different wars going on throughout the Middle East. Huh? You know? You got rumors yeah, of wars started. because just that thing with America trying to uh, stop right, sure. Iran from uh, 
enriching uranium, you know, and, and then setting up sanctions, that thing is going to continue to just uh, fester right. until it comes into a point of the nuclear destruction that's, right. that's soon to come, you know? This, all of these things are going to culminate to the nuclear destruction of America, you know? Because America will be destroyed by these missiles. But not to get off subject though, we come out here, we got to tell our people to come back to the Most High, start following these laws and having faith to have mercy that the Most High, to gain mercy that the Most High may deliver you in those days, you know? Right. And it's only meant for the elect of the nation Israel. For those that the Lord has chosen from the beginning, before the foundations of the world. That's who it's meant for. Alright, it says, the prophet was prophesied to peace. When the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord had truly sent him. That's right. So we're not out here to prophesy peace. Matter of fact, get Matthew uh, 10 and 34. We're not out here to prophesy peace. Because contrary to popular belief, we know through the scriptures that the Most High is perfect balance. You can't have peace without war. You can't have love without hate. You know? We're not going to leave anything unturned. We're not going to leave no loose ends when it comes to preaching this word. We're here to, com to preach the complete Bible, you know? And the Bible does preach of evil and, and bad times, which are all coming to America. We're out here basically to blow the trumpet to warn our people of these things before they come, you know? So the blood won't be on our hands, you know? That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's how we know we those prophets coming back then because they hated the prophets back then because they always came and preached bad things against those kingdoms, you know? Like Daniel, for example. When he came to Nebuchadnezzar, you know, he basically told him that that empire was going, it was going down, you know? And the scriptures say that the things that were written aforetime were written for our learning. So we got uh, plenty of examples of men in the, of the Lord, you know, back then doing the things that uh, we're doing now. So through the spirit, Lord willing, we know that we don't same prophets. But just going back to my original subject, you know, the most high, everyone, everyone, everybody wants to scream love and peace. Love and peace is not what's coming to the earth in this particular time right now, you know. Go ahead and get that. Uh, Matthew 10 and 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. That's right. And this is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ be. If you have a red letter Bible, the words in red are the words of who the world calls Jesus Christ. And he says, think not that I come to send peace. So contrary to popular belief, whether you hear about these lying pastors, by these stupid uh, Edomites, these so-called white people, the Lord, who the world called Jesus Christ, who we know to be Yahweh Shah, is not coming back to bring peace. That's right. Because, because through, you know, all these years, all these centuries that uh, the so-called white man, the devil's been in power, all these wrong is hate to the earth, especially to these people. So when these people want to talk about love and peace, was this love and peace when they were gathering the, 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 the children of Israel on these slave ships to bring them to America to bring up this wicked kingdom? Was that equality back then? But now they want to scream peace. When their uh, economy is finally about to bottom out, when all these nations are coming up against it, everyone, everybody wants to scream peace and where's the love all of a sudden? But what was the love when all these atrocities was going on to, the, to these people, you know? Right, right. That's not, that's not very peaceful. Look at this. But yeah, that's not just, just look at these pictures. This is a, uh, Emmett Till. This is a teenager. And these so-called white people did this to him for basically just whistling at a white woman when he went down south to visit some family, you know? You wouldn't do this to someone that you're at peace with. You wouldn't do this to someone that you love, you know? So that shows right there that this devil, this so-called white man is a hypocrite. Because whenever someone comes up against them and their agenda, they always, they'll do, they'll go across the ends of the earth to get justice. But what about the justice for these people? But that's all right though. The Most High is gonna send his son back to Howard Shah, and that's gonna be our justice. That's gonna be our salvation, you know?
got one real quick. Speaking on when you said the red letter Bible, I'm in Revelation 22 and 7, and this is in red. It says, Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. So those that are staying within this book, the men of the Lord, the one third, and the elect, those, those are going to be blessed in those perilous times that are coming, that are here and that are coming soon. They're going to make it, but, but if, you're not, if you're not in this book, if you're not chosen, you got hell to pay, and you're going to pay it. You're going to pay every bit of it. That's right. Because I got another one if you want. Uh, you know. Like the brother, just to piggyback on what he said, because the scriptures say that wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of the times. And I'm, and I'm talking to the, these people on this sign. That's right. Chiefly the elect. It's important to come back to these scriptures, you know. That's right. Because this is, only, this is our only way out. This is our only hope of salvation is uh, coming to the understanding and through faith, you know, having hope that the Most High is going to show mercy in the, in the times that's to come, you know, because the scriptures say that the righteous shall scarcely be saved. So it's going to be a fearful time for uh, a lot of brothers in this truth when all of these things start to play out the way that the Most High wanted them to play out, you know? That's right. I got another uh, Second Ezra is 8 and 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them in the latter time that shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Now, I mean, that, that scripture is easy. I mean, that's right. Uh, it's, it's nothing but prideful people walking around here. If you, if you, it's not a lot of people out right now. But if you're down here, you know, a little bit, what about another couple hours or something like that, it'll be just packed, packed with prideful people. Women wearing skimpy clothes, men wearing skinny jeans, nothing but pride and, and folly in these cities. And you know what? To those same people, they're going to be those ones that are stuck out there in that time. That's right. When the cities are cut off, they're going to be stuck out there. That's right. When the food is cut off, they're going to be stuck out there. When our red closes the Straits of Hormuz, they're going to be stuck out there. But guess what? The men of the Lord won't be stuck out there. And Lord willing, we are those men. The men that you see on the corners, sighing and crying, and the men that you see casting that net out to see if they can catch the one third, or to see if they see if there's another man out here that's that's, that's saying the same thing we are. Man, this this country is terrible. Life is horrible. The food is bad. I can't I can't eat no food. I can't eat a banana, it ain't real. Can't eat a strawberry. It got fish, you know what I'm saying? It got catfish jeans in it. It's, it's, it's a terrible society. It's a prideful society. That's right. And it's time for it to go down. That's right. That's oh, yeah, right, because the got? scriptures say, uh, pride go up before fall. And we know that this America, it's nothing but proud people in America. Because even in the military with the Marines, they say, what, the few, the proud? The, the Marines, and we're tired of looking at you proud people walk up and down the block, man. We ain't even got nothing to be proud of, man. Because basically your economy is about to bottom out. The dollar is steady plummeting every day to where prices for gas and other just commodities that you need from the day to day is just going up at a rapid rate, you know? The, and we're like debt. the huh, dreams of dollars in debt. And that, and that thing is still going, still going, every second of every day. That, that, that debt is just growing, multiplying, exponentially. You can't stop it. There's no amount of, there's no amount of uh, uh, debt control. What are, what are some of these ways they're trying to package? Yeah, QE3. QE3. Yeah, none of that going to stop the, the decay and the downfall of America. And we're wrong for coming out and speaking about these things, you know? Well, we're just like, you know, the prophets of old, like we read in Jeremiah 28, 8, you know? Right. We're set fully against this kingdom, you know? And this kingdom is set fully against us. That's right. So that's one thing, you know, that's, what, that's one thing that you gotta realize when you come into this truth. When you come into this truth, when the, when the scriptures tell you, uh, uh, James, love not the world. Yep. You see, when, 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 when Tupac, when Tupac said, when Tupac said fuck the world, he didn't mean that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because he was living it up at the time. He was living it up. But when you come into this truth, when you say F the world, you got to mean it. 
And when you do say F the world and mean it, the world takes that personal. The Lord told all the disciples that they was gonna hate, that the world was gonna hate them like they hate him. And we gotta be in the same spirit that the Lord and the disciples was in. That's right, if I just say something about what you just said, you don't say, like Tupac, you don't say fuck the world because all of a sudden shit ain't going good for you no more. Because you right. lost all your money. And now your house is getting foreclosed on. Now it's fuck the world. But all you're doing is waiting for that next little influx of right. cash. Right, waiting so, on that next stimulus That's thing. right, so if Tupac gets a little bit of money, get his change back, get right. his little clout right. back, and he's right back in the, uh, you know, making music right. for, for the club. That's right. But that's not what we out here doing. That's not, like he said, that's not the fuck the world we talking about. That's right. We, we talking about a spiritual fuck the world. That's right, right. A spir that's right. spiritually taking yourself out of the world. Just like right. it says in the scripture. To remove your mind, body, well, you can't move your body, but your right. soul right. from the world. Do, you, do we have to go to work? Yep. Of course we have to go yep. to work. But we know we doing it all through slavery. That's right. And where did slavery come from? How do we know we're in slavery? Because it's prophesied in Deuteronomy. That's, right. That's how we live our life. According to the scriptures, there's no other way to do it. And that's right. right. And just going on that point about the world, like we have to take our mind off of the world. Right. Because if we could, if we had the power, we would take our physical body out of this world, man. Because we hate this place. And going, just piggybacking on what you were saying at first, that's why we set out here to sigh and cry to those elect men that the Most High God set up that just hate this place and wanted to just be destroyed so the kingdom of heaven can be set up. Go right. ahead and get that. This is Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that saw and that cried for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. That's right. It says go through the midst of the city. And it's talking about the midst of these people, you know, because Jerusalem is a people before it's a place, you know. And it says set a mark. And that word mark is not karagma that it's talking about in Revelations, the decision. Right. The, that mark is talking about this, the, the, the understanding of this word, right? you know. And that understanding of this word is only gonna it's only gonna go out through the elect men that the most high had already had set up from the foundation of the earth to get it. Right. And those are only the only men that are actually signing crime for the abominations, you know? And because those even are the men that what does the song say? I woke up screaming, fuck the world. That's right. Those are the men that are actually doing it and right. mean every bit of it. That's right. And me and there's no wavering from it. They woke we woke up screaming, fuck the world. That's right. But we still we had to do we have to do what we have to do within the world. Right. But you don't find us out there bad trying to trying to get a record deal. You don't find us out there bad in the club, Monday through Monday. You won't find us out there That's like right. that. What you do is you'll find us in this word. You'll find us in these scriptures. You'll find us with your shot. Uh, can I get something real, real quick? To piggyback out what Sakari just said, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of a lot of brothers come into this truth, and, and 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 it gets so heavy at times to where they feel like they need an escape, or they feel like they need a release. You know, your release and your escape is the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing else. Ain't nothing else gonna make you feel better. When you get thirsty, you drink from the water. When you get hungry, you eat the food. You know what I'm saying? When you gotta defend yourself, you use this. This is your fire. This is the fire that you burning that wood up with. The scriptures is your salvation. The scriptures is your hope. Your faith come out of the scriptures. Go ahead. First Maccabees chapter 12 verse 9. Therefore we also, albeit we need none of these things. We need none of these things. That's what I said. We don't need drugs. We don't need we don't need women. I haven't seen y'all in a year. You haven't seen us in a year? Where you been? <laughs> Yeah, well, I, oh, I went over to another beat for a while, a whole other section of the city. Did you now. enjoy yourself? It's all right. You know, I can't stand the car. I just can't. I mean, it just. I'm, I'm getting old in my metabolism. I like sweets, and I can't eat enough coconut, you know, crap and all that. I just can't. I end up gaining a ton of weight. So anyway, go see you guys. All right, man. Right, have a good one. Man. Y'all be cool. Drink uh, <laughs> that again, bro. First uh, Maccabees 12 and 9. Therefore, we also, albeit we need none of these things. We need none of these things. Nothing that this world has to offer, we need it. We don't need, we also, we don't need the cars, we don't need the clothes, we don't need the hoes. Also, we don't need pistols, we don't need cigarettes, we don't need blunts. You know what I'm saying? We don't need, we 
don't need none of the stuff that the world has to offer that the people in the world use to escape their problems. We know what our problem is. The so-called white man is our problem. So it ain't nothing that's gonna make us feel better besides getting him out of here. And the blueprint to get him out of here is in the scriptures. That's right. Read. For that we have the holy books of scripture in our hands to comfort me. For we have the us. holy for, for we have the holy books of scripture in our hand to comfort us. You know what I'm saying? I don't bro, I don't I don't knew I don't knew dudes that they tried to read the Bible and they couldn't. You know what I'm saying? Well, I tried to read the Bible and I ain't understand it so shit. I went and bought a sack. <laughs> that's but that's how they, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I mean, I'm, 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 nah, it's I funny, it's funny, but you know what I'm saying? That's a, that's that's how that's how Jake is. They want to use everything that they can think of to comfort them, except the word of the Most High, man. And then you only turn to the to the word of most of the, of the Most High when you're at your lowest state, right? When you're in the hospital, or when you you know your woman left you. Now you're spilling spiritual, right? That's how Jake is. Just a, a bunch of worms, like the scriptures say. Well, right. tell you. That was it on that. The scriptures say, the scriptures say to remember those bad times when you having your good times. Right. And remember those good times when you having your bad. It's it's a balance thing. Right. So right. You, so you can't just say, you know, when you in your bad time, oh oh well now you know, now it ain't about the Lord. Now it ain't about the scriptures. Now it ain't about the truth. The Lord is going to try you in 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 adversity. Right. The, the His elect. He's going to have you pass through that, that furnace, like gold trying to fire. Right. To test you. But it, somebody get Hebrews 12 and 6. And then somebody get uh, 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 Job chapter 5. I, I got a good question. Go ahead. This is Sirach chapter 39 and uh, 26. The principal things for the whole use of man's life are water, fire, right. Right. iron, right. and salt, right. flour of wheat. All of those are in the scriptures. The scriptures are equated to all of that. Read that again. Mm -hmm. The principal things for the whole use of man's life or water. The principal things for the whole use of a man's life or water, which is equated to the scriptures. Go ahead. Fire. Fire. That's equated to the scriptures. Right. Iron and salt. Right. Flour of wheat. Your conversation got to be seasoned with salt. Only way your conversation going to be seasoned with salt is if you in these scriptures. Go ahead. Honey. Yep. Milk. Honey, as I say, it's honey when you first get it. When you first eat the roll, it's like honey in your mouth, but it get bitter in your belly. But that's what I'm saying. It's all being equated to the word. Desire to sincere milk, right? Milk is the word. Go ahead. Right. And the blood of the grape. And the blood of the grape, because the blood is the blood of Yahweh Shai is what is what cleansed us to get us out of this world. That's right. The blood of Yahweh Shai is the blood is, is, is what made us be able to say fuck the world. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. And oil and clothing. Right. That's your garment. Clothing. You got to put that garment on. That's right. You take your garment off in the middle of a war, you're going to get jacked up, man. Period. We're, we're naked without this without this truth, without right. this word. Right. That's right. Go ahead. All these things are for good to the godly. All these things are for good for the godly. For the godly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, water. It, when you thirsty and you got to drink some water, water is good. That's right. But when you drown in water, it's bad. You know what I'm saying? Fire keep you warm. But when you on fire, that's bad. See, those things are good for the godly. But for the ungodly, you get them same things, just in another form of it. Because the most high finna burn this place up. That's right. Them dudes that say, oh man, that, that, that word's too hard. I'm gonna go smoke some weed. You know I'm gonna go saying? ahead and go hit this club up. And you know, go chase these women. He gonna, be the one, he gonna be the one, he gonna be the one, that's the ungodly, he gonna be the one that had a bad end of the fire, go ahead. So to the sinners, they are turned into evil. Right. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Right. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. Keep going. In the time of destruction. In the they, time of destruction, they pull out their what? Their force. Go ahead. And appease the wrath of him that made and them. And appease the wrath of him that made them. The most, high, the most high made those spirits for vengeance. Right. The most high made that fire that's going to burn you up. He made that water that drowned you in the first, in the first death. The most high is controlling all these things, man. And don't think for one second that God is all love, because he's not. Are you all love? Hell no. You that's people love. You love. possible to be all Exactly. Love. You know that's what I'm saying? Possible. It ain't no way. You have to have a balance of love with him. You have to. Just like we were talking about earlier. There has to be.
Uh, it says, fire and hell and famine and death. Right. All these were created for vengeance. All these things were created for vengeance. And the man that created all of them is who you ignorantly call God. He created all those things for a certain purpose. Go ahead. Teeth of wild beasts right. and scorpions, serpents, and the sword. Right, go punishing ahead. Punishing the wicked to destruction. Punishing the wicked to destruction. So all those things that was on that list, if, if they were made for the godly in an aspect, and they was made for the ungodly in an aspect. And if you the ungodly, hey, I mean, right. it is what it is. Is that, is that, is that on that? Yeah, that's all right. Well, this is Proverbs 11 and uh, 1. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord. So but a, to, to, to be all love, that's, you can't do that. Right. There's no way that you can do that. There's no person that can, can that can be that way. Right. That's just vain talking. Love everybody. You see little stickers on a car. Right. World peace. There is no world peace. There's no everybody love and hold hands. There is none of that. Nope. Was this love for everybody? We was packed in like sardines, thrown off the ship to feed the sharks. Was that love? Where's it? Get that other one right there. I know we was talking about this earlier. Was that love when you was feeding our babies the alligators? Was that love? Small box blankets. No, so it ain't no, it ain't no, that's good. It ain't no, it ain't no world peace. It ain't no equality like we were saying earlier. It ain't none of that. It's, it's complete and utter hate. And you right. have love for nothing but yourself. That's right. But guess what? We, it, it don't matter. It, we not worried about it because the Lord is going to take you right off the earth anyway. Right, right, it's just right. a matter of time. And that's what eases our mind because we know the Lord's word is real. Right. So We've seen it with our own eyes. Yep. Right. When, the, when, the, when the earth is, when the earth is regener when regenerated and cleansed of this, this cancer that is Esau, so-called white man, then, then there'll be world peace. Then there'll be all this, all this stuff that, you know, devils talk about all the time you say you say uh, the, the war on terrorism you're the terrorists you're the problem right you're the <laughs> you're the anomaly in the whole equation that's right and we don't we don't have too many worries like these heathens do but, but like like what you was reading about the, the necessities of life bread clothing water we don't worry about that stuff because we know the Lord is going to take care of it. Get that, Matthew uh, 6, I started 25. We know the Lord got us. What's the point of me worrying about clothes? What's the point of me worrying about food? Of course the Lord is going to feed me. At the very least, he's going to clothe me and feed me. So that's never a word. We're not out here like that. And like I was saying, uh, we see, we've seen the Lord's work with our own eyes. And there's been a couple incidents that have happened lately. A brother the true committed adultery and it was exposed and if, if you think about it that's a that's a, that's a major thing right. just the way that the Lord shows these things and these brothers getting kicked out of the camp the, out of the all these camps the way the Lord manifests that whole thing that's beautiful and it's scary at the same time right, right. so we know it's real right. and we know that if we stay in his word that we'll be okay Strive for the truth unto death. Somebody want to hold that too? Go ahead and read. Uh, yeah. Well, that's Matthew 6, right? Yeah. 25. Matthew chapter 6, verse 25. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life which ye shall eat, or what which ye shall drink. What am I worried about food for? What am I worried about stuff like that? That's, it, it does me no good to be sitting up here and worrying about, you know, <laughs> Right, right. And man, am I gonna be able to eat them all? That's yeah. right. What sense is that? Well, we got ain't none. Keep going. Nor yet for your body, what you shall put on. What you shall put on. Are you worried about Jordans or when the next ones are coming out? That's complete madness. Do you have shoes on your feet? Of course. What do you move on? Now, I mean, every brother has their own amount of money. Of course, you don't just go all out your way. You don't drive four or five hours to go get a pair of shoes. If, 
you making a modest income, you don't go and buy $900 shoes. But we were given that understanding through the word. Right. These healers are out here, you see them lined up all down the block, waiting for a pair of shoes to come out. And they act like they don't understand the trick that Esau plays. He puts one shoe out, he's got all 10 shoes lined up for the next 10 years. And he puts one out as if there's never going to be another one. This is a special edition. Right. Magic Johnson touched it with his own hand. So you got to have these. And they're red and black. Yeah. But he's got blue and white. He's got gray and white. And he's going he's gonna to get you. Right. He's going to wait another two years. He's going to hit you with the gray and white. He's going to tell you the same story. Magic yeah. Johnson, he, he, peed, yeah, he peed on these. So. Then five years later, he's going to put the black and red ones out again. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna have the space inside the sole yeah, of the shoe. Yeah, with his baby going. picture in 3D and shit. Yeah, keep going. With his wife cooking on there. Go ahead. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? Be behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Right. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. No, I mean, the, 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 the Lord feeds the birds of the field, the mice, rats, the squirrels. They taken care of, so of course we're taken care of. And that's not a worry that should be on our mind. And it's not, it's not. We go through life knowing that if we stay within the scriptures, then Lord willing, we'll be okay. Go ahead. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you taking thought can add and one of cubit? you're better than them. Because look at the understanding that you've been given. Of course you're better than the birds of the field. Or yeah, the birds of the air and the lilies of the field. Go ahead. Which of you taking thought can add one cubit unto his statue? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. That's right. You, you can look on the side of the highway and you'll see all the beautiful flowers, beautiful colors. You damn near have a wreck sometimes. You're looking, you know, just looking at the scenery. And what the scripture is saying is, if the Lord is going to take care of the side of the highway, is he not going to take care of you? Yeah, I, I, I still wanted that to keep moving. I got that. Uh, and Joe. I got that. Yeah, I was thinking it's the whole, the, the whole point. We trying to make the whole point. We trying to make it. If you worrying about all that, you ain't going to be able to take the chance in the most high. You know what I'm saying? We got to be focused on the task at hand, and that's getting into these scriptures so we can get out of here, man. And that's it, and that's all. But if the most high ain't dealing with you, if the most high ain't dealing with you, then, I mean, hey, go ahead. Hebrews, Job, either one. Either Hebrews, one. About the same thing. twelve and six. For whom the Lord loveth, He chasteneth. So if the Lord ain't, if the Lord ain't got His foot on your in your ass right now, you better be glad He do. That's right. You know what I'm saying? He only gonna He only gonna deal with who He gonna deal with. He only gonna have compassion on who He gonna have compassion on. So when you get in trouble at school and your and your and your dad like, well, I ain't worried about them. I'm worried about you. You my son. He gonna whip your ass. Go ahead. And scourgeth every son whom he received. And scourgeth every son who he received. That's me. He gonna beat your ass. You his child. You got to do what he say. If you don't do what he say, he gonna beat your ass. Read. If ye endure chastening, right? The Most High dealeth with you as as with sons. If you take that ass with him, he dealing with you like he did with his son. Yahweh Shah is the Most High son. He beat his ass. That's just the truth for the matter. That's the truth for the matter. I think it's somewhere in Ezekiel or Isaiah, one of those words say that it pleased the most high to bruise it. Talking about the Lord. Talking about Yahweh Shah. Keep reading. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? So which, which son is the one is, is which son didn't make didn't uh didn't didn't get chastened by the most high? You got all these prophets in this book. All of those were sons of the most high. For the Lord through all the prophets, they was all sons. How wish I was the firstborn of many brethren. You know what I'm saying? All them sons, all the prophets died. All the prophets got killed. They got locked up. All the prophets got chastened. 
every single one of them and all those prophecies back today because whether you believe it or not reincarnation is in the bible but that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day but which which one of the sons of the most high didn't get chastised the scripture say the lord chastised those who he loved right so if if the lord loves you if, you know like the elect they're that gold tried in, in the furnace of adversity you know, like I was saying before. So if the Lord ain't dealing with you, he's going to like you're going to know he's not dealing with you because he's not chastising you. That's right. He don't give a fuck about you like the like the brother said. That's right. So go ahead. Yeah. But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all all are partakers, right? Then are ye bastards and not sons. So if you not catch a hell, then you a bastard. That's you right. know what I'm saying? So just, to, just like the example you said, your father is going to beat your ass. That's He's right. not going to go two or three blocks down the street right. and beat nobody else's ass. He's going to whoop job. your ass. It ain't his job to whoop everybody on the block. Go ahead. Uh, this is Job chapter 5 verse 17. 17. Behold, happy is the man whom the Most High corrected. Happy is the man that the Most High corrected. Because when the Most High corrects you, he corrected you so you can get right. Instead of just leaving you to your own lust. And burning your ass up later. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Therefore, despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty. Despise not the chastening of the Most High. Man, man, God don't love me, man. I ain't got no money, man. I'm hungry. I just got fired. My bitch just left. All that shit happened so you can get right. All that happened. All that happened. All that happened so you can get into this word, man. Another angle you can look at it is all those things happen to help you. Right. It could be that that job was was, was right. putting you in a bad situation. Right. And the woman, I don't, I'm not even going yeah. to go to that. You know what I'm saying? Be happy with the woman. But that's what I'm saying. Because look, look at look at look at the story of Job. When you read about Job, Job lost everything. You know what I'm saying? He lost everything. But his, his faith in the Lord, everything came back. Everything came back. The most I had to break us down, man. He had to break us down. And that chastening and that correction is what breaks you down. You know what I'm saying? It's just like when you go to the military. When you go to the military, it ain't nothing but a bunch of 17, 18-year-old, drunk, high-ass people. You know what I'm saying? It's looking for an escape and they, you know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm saying. When you go, they break you completely down and then it builds you up from scratch. I was talking to the white boy at my job. The white boy at my job. Uh, 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 he, he, uh, he in the army. You know what I'm saying? He was talking about how when he first went to boot camp, how he still had all them drugs in his system and all that, and he was he literally got cleansed through that process. He's sick and throwing up doing all during all that, but that's what I'm saying. He had to be broken completely down. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to, I mean, that's just how the military do it. You know what I'm saying? Even a righteous military. You gotta break down the people that come in and shape them and mold them into what they need to be. That's right. And right now the most high is shaping and, 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 and molding and, and, and potting to make us the men that we need to be. Because without him before that, we wasn't shit. So when he get to beating your ass, when he get to beating your ass, take it cheerfully, man, like the scriptures say. Because once you understand why you're getting your ass whooped, it's easier to endure through it. You dig? Right. Let me read something real quick. Uh, First Peter 5 and 6. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High. Now, how do you hum how do you how do you get humble? How do you get humble? When you're in a position of a, when, when, when somebody's foot is on your neck, you humble. You know what I'm saying? You humble when somebody put this on your neck. When somebody, uh, when, when, when the Most High is hip deep in your ass. Go ahead. That he may exalt you in due time. That, may he, that he may exalt you in due time. That's what I'm saying. He had, to, he had to break us down, clean us up, and everything before he could put you on the chariot, man. These whack ass bodies can't hold no chariot, man. So he got to break us down, and, 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 that's, and that's what the process of coming to this truth is. Everybody's seen The Matrix. Neo, the, Neo, wasn't, Neo wasn't the shit at the beginning of the movie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Remember when he had to jump off the building? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he hit that ground hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's when he hit it, all the other little... Bounce. Yeah, everybody was like... Yeah, everybody yeah, was like, but, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> he, wasn't, he wasn't at his full power and flew off until the end of the movie. That's right. He had to get broken completely down. Go ahead. Casting all your care upon him, right? For he cared for you. That's what I'm saying. He cared for you, but you ain't gonna cast all your care on him. No, that's backwards. That's backwards. He cared enough to clean you 
up. He cared enough to clean you up. But you gonna bitch about how you do it. Nah, man, you can't do that. That's right. You're, you know what I'm saying? Your parents can't save you. Right. Your wife can't save you. Your sister, your, chi your child, okay. they can't save you. So you can't put all your, put like I say, put all your eggs in that basket. Right, right. You have to put all your care in the most high, because that's who, that's who is going to take care of you. Right. Be sober, be vigilant, right. because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Seeking whom he may devour. And he going to devour all the bastards. He going to devour all the bastards that couldn't take the chance in the most high. Go ahead. That's it. All right, go back to that. You can see right here, from 7, chapter 2. Start yeah, it. Yo, uh, matter of fact, 1 and 10 verse. Go ahead. when I whip your ass. But now you understand that when you when you when you old enough to comprehend what's going on, that make it that much easier. Because some of y'all need y'all ass beat. Two thirds of the nation of Israel need their ass beat. And they gonna get that ass beat with a missile. Go ahead. But he that loveth him chasteneth him for times. Right. But he that loveth him gonna get in that ass every time it's necessary. And the Lord is the same way. The Lord is the same way. We got our ass whipped as a nation. The Lord did it with nations. You know what I'm saying? And the nation of Israel, from the Negroes to Latinos to the Native Americans, are scattered all over the world, are getting their ass kicked. And rightfully so. You know what I'm saying? But the whole point is, when the whole the whole point is, the most high is 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 is, is just. You know what I'm saying? You ever got one of them whoopers where your parents got you so good they had to come and bandage you up shortly after? Oh shit, I got you good on that one, but they got the peroxide and they wiping y'all up, you know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, they back loving on you. But you had to get your ass whooped, man. And that's and that's, that's what's going on with this nation as we speak. You know what I'm saying? The most high is to the point now, the most high is to the point now, but when he put uh when, when he put the elders on the scene, from Abba on down to the brothers that you see in now, when you when he uh, he, 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 he he bandaging us up. You know what I'm saying? And he getting us ready for something else. And that something else is the destruction of America, which everybody's so just, they just don't understand that it's coming. They don't believe it. They can't see it. But America is going to be destroyed. That's right. And everybody that ain't right is going to get destroyed right along with it. That's right. Go ahead. Start it, at the top of it, it's the Sirach chapter 2 and 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. If you come to serve the Lord, prepare your soul for temptation. Because when you first come in and find out that the Jews is black, you know what I'm saying? You find out that the Native Americans and the Latinos is Israelites. You find out the white man is the devil. It's all good. You you you, you in love with the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? But when you when you when you when you come in and you and you get to coming in all this information and all this knowledge, you like, oh yeah, well that's what's up. Okay, I'm with this. Now that you done made the decision that you're gonna be with it, now you gotta prepare yourself for temptation. Now, when you stop smoking weed, all your friends and shit gonna be coming with the best weed you've never seen in your life. When you stop gang banging, Pookie get shot. Let's go, kick, let's go ride on these busters. You know what I'm saying? When you want to stop committing adultery, that's when every woman at the job that's fine that you've been eyeballing all of a sudden done broke up with their man and they want a piece of you now. Go ahead. It says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. That means you're going to have to be enduring all the time. 
once you come into this truth. It ain't gonna be a second of your day where you ain't gonna have to endure something. Go ahead. And make not haste in time of trouble. And make not haste in time of trouble. You know what I'm saying? Jacob, see, Jacob have a flat on the way to camp. Or Jake Carr break down on the way to camp. Oh man, that must be the most high way of telling me he ain't dealing with me. I was trying to go to camp. But he might have been doing that to test another brother to see how brotherly he gonna be to come get you. That's what I'm saying. You can't not think the most high, man. Our thoughts ain't his thoughts. Our thoughts ain't his thoughts. The most high, he know what he's doing. And if he's beating your ass, he's got obviously a plan for you. Because look at the people who ask he's not beating. All these homosexuals walking around here. That's right. All these pedophiles and murderers and rapists and all that. He ain't dealing with none of them people. Go ahead. Cleave unto him and depart not away. Right. That thou mayest be increased at thy last end. That thou may be increased at thy last end. This is the last end right here. We in the last end right now. So you want to be increased at the last end. Because the ones that get increased is the ones that's going to be on the chariots. I'm, hey, I'm, I'm going to say like this. From where I came from before the Lord had mercy on me and, 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 and made me to understand this, I would I, I would take this chastening now. I would much rather take the spiritual chastening than the physical chastening, man. Because even the two-thirds, even the two-thirds, they going to come back in the kingdom. But you got to come back. You got to come, What you going to come back from? You coming back from the missiles. You coming back from that death. You coming back from that famine. You coming back from all that shit that you deserve before he decided to have mercy on you and burn your ass up. That's mercy. Them missiles is mercy on the nation of Israel. That's right. The two thirds, a missile is mercy. Three. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. If your woman leave, take it cheerfully, man. Take it cheerfully, man. Cause that's what I'm saying. If you can get past that, if you can get past that, if you can take it cheerfully when your woman leave, then that mean that you she she was gonna be your downfall. You know what I'm saying? You lose your job, take it cheerfully, man. So what? That's what I'm saying. What did do? You lost your job. You want to lose your job or your life? Which one is more important to you? If I can say this real quick, the Lord does all these things to test your integrity, to test. And see where, where you are. Right. And if you know, like wisdom, like like Sirach says, with wisdom, it's trying you, it's trying you, and it has them, them chains on you. Right. And so if you, you know, if you, if you hunger down, and, and if your integrity is in line with what this scripture, what this word is talking about, then you can start. You know, the Lord will start working with you. Then wisdom will start working right. with you. You know. Yeah. And be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. And be patient when thou art changed to a lower state, man. Because that's what I'm saying. You got to, you got, you got to be broken down before you can be built up. Because right. he can't, he can't build on top of what you already was. Because you wasn't shit. You can't build a house on a turd. It ain't gonna work. Go ahead. For gold is tried in the fire. Right. And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. You know what I'm saying? So if you're in the furnace of adversity, then, I mean, it's only one way to get out of the furnace of adversity. By being right. You know what I'm saying? Adversity ain't good, but it's necessary. This truth, yeah, it's, yeah it, 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 it get hard from time to time, but it's fair. You know what I'm saying? Cause he didn't have to give you the word. That's what I'm saying. The most I don't owe you shit, man. Read. That's right. Uh, believe in him, right? And he will help thee. Right. Go ahead. Believe in him. Believe in him, and he will help you. That's what I'm saying. So when you lose your job, you believe in the most high. He'll give you another one. He gonna take care of you if you if you of the elect. If you uh, if you one of his sons. Go ahead. Order thy way right and trust in him. Right. Ye that fear the Lord, wait for his mercy. Yep, yep, yep. And go not aside, lest ye fall. Yep, keep on going. Ye that fear the Lord. Right. Oh, it's lucky. Ye that fear the Lord, uh, believe, in, believe him. Right. And your reward shall not fail. And your reward shall not fail. That's what I'm saying. If you do this work and you believe in the most high like you're supposed to, the reward is the kingdom. Go ahead. Ye that fear the Lord, hope for good. Right. And for everlasting joy and mercy. Right. Yep. Go ahead. Look at the generations of old and see. Now this is the point. This is the point. We started at the top of this chapter. 
just to get to this point right here. Breathe. Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Did anybody ever trust in the Lord and the Lord was like, you know what, even though he trusted in me, I ain't, uh -uh. no, no, that ain't never happened. We'll wait. That ain't never happened. And you know it happened. That's right. Read. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Did, any abide, did anybody have that fear for the Most High and was forsaken? No. No. He promised us that he was going to take care of us forever and ever and ever. And we fucked up. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Come on, man. You can't get around that. Who did the most I ever despise that called on his name? Nobody. 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 And you whole ass niggas want to. You whole ass niggas want to uh, stand up for this white man, but you won't stand up for the most high and his son. You niggas make me sick, man. You motherfucking niggas make me sick. And you make the most high sick. That's right. That's why he's gonna burn your ass. Up. Most high is the most powerful entity, and he actually said he loved you. Actually said out his own mouth, put put you above everything. Put you above everything, and you gonna treat the most high like shit? Nah, man. No, nah, hell no. Nah. That's why he going that's why he going to raise up 12,000 men out of each one of these tribes to get your fucking ass right. That's right. That goddamn Steven Spirit running rampant around this motherfucker, man. Are you Uncle Tom's out there, man, that want to hold on and cleave unto this white man? Keep it up. Keep it up. That's your destiny. I got to go ahead. It, uh, this is uh, Malachi 1 and 2. I have loved you, said the Lord. Said the who? Said the Lord. The Lord said he loved you. And you know he's talking to Israel by this time in Malachi. He been telling Israel he loved him through the whole Bible, man. And you whole ass niggas, man. Oh, you whole ass niggas, boy. Read. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Right. Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau. Right. And laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons. He tell you who he love and he tell you who he hate. You know what I'm he just told you he hate Esau, but you're going to cleave on the Esau hoping for salvation. Get uh, Second Ezra chapter 7, and then you get Matthew chapter 7. I think it's around 13 on both chapters. Go ahead. Y'all ain't finna just tiptoe y'all way into the kingdom, man. Nah, you're gonna have to earn it, man. You're gonna have to work for it, just like everybody else, man. Just like all the rest of the prophets that died having the faith. Just like all the other prophets that got killed by their own damn people. Right. Yeah. Now, what you have before that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. Enter, enter ye in a straight gate. Enter ye in at the straight gate. You know what I'm saying? That word straight, that word straight is like a position, a position of difficulty. It's gonna be hard to do. It ain't gonna be no cakewalk. You ain't finna just shalom your way to the kingdom. That ain't gonna happen. You got to do the work. You got to have faith and you got to do the work. Read. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction. Because anything besides that path, anything, anything besides that straight gate ain't hitting no shit, man. Ain't, 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 it ain't nothing you can do. You either gonna walk that line or you ain't. You know what I'm saying? And the Most High is gonna correct. When you decide to walk that line and, 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 and ride with the Most High like you're supposed to, he gonna, he gonna correct you when he see, when he see you tipping to the right. He gonna hold you up. When he see you tip to the left, he gonna hold you up. But if he don't love you and you a bastard, you gonna be in whatever is on the side that you fall into. Go ahead. And many there there be which go in thereat, uh -huh. because straight is the gate, right? And narrow is the way that leadeth unto life. Right. Narrow is the way that leadeth unto life. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Narrow is the way that leadeth unto life. But when you in the, uh, that, that Broadway, that Broadway, yeah. it's so many different things that you can get into to make you go off. You know what I'm saying? Broad, the, that, that Broadway is, 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 is uh, Islam, mm -hmm. Baptist, Pentecostal, that Seven Day of Venice, all that, all that. That's, that's, that's the Broadway. That's the way to destruction. Scriptures don't say nothing about all that. 
but when you when, when when you put in a position to walk that line, you got to walk that line, man. And only the men that the Lord is dealing with is gonna make it across. Go ahead. And few there be that find it. And few there be that find it. Everybody ain't gonna find the kingdom on the first go round. Everybody ain't gonna find it. Go ahead. Beware of false prophets which come to you in That's sheep's clothing. Second Ezra, uh, second Ezra chapter 7. You know where I'm, I'm gonna start, yeah, yeah, I'm going to start. Like 7, 6 or 7? Uh, yeah. Second Ezra 7, and I start at uh, 5. Who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it? Right. If he went not through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? That's what I'm saying. How'd you go?